and welcome to TOA 16 studio. My name is Alex, I'm the founder and publisher of the European The Debate magazine and I'm here with Andrew Smart and we are going to talk about artificial intelligence. So Andrew, welcome. I'm glad we have the chance to talk. Thank so you. So wh what is your angle on AI? So my primary interest is in machine consciousness um, and actually reproducing, you know, human-like conscious experience in a machine because I think so much of AI is focused basically on like curve fitting or fancy statistics and I'm I'm kind of interested in the the original dream of AI which was to create an artificial mind. Well, so many, many would argue that is actually like the dystopian part of it. Do you do you really think there is another form of uh, machine intelligence that de that deprives from what you just said like the learning by numbers? And why is that? Why you think so? Why you believe in that? Well, I think, I mean, so I would I go back to the, uh, in 2001, there was the uh, machine consciousness workshop at Cold Spring mm -hmm. Harbor Laboratory, and um, a bunch of Nobel laureates got together, physicists and neuroscientists, and they debated lots of things, but then they came out with a statement at the end, and they said, you know, we disagreed about a lot of things, what's consciousness, what's a machine, but the one thing we all agree on is that we cannot think of a fundamental principle in the universe that would forbid uh, subjective feelings uh, in, an art, in an artificial artifact. So they couldn't, they couldn't rule it out at yeah. that point. But I, I agree that, and then I also am interested in this computational idea. So is, is our brain a computer? Um, that, and that's, I think that's a separate question to whether it's yeah. possible to physically recreate consciousness. And also could not be just the other way around, as for our life is so much shaped by, let's say, algorithm, broadly speaking, that we just make the way back in our head and, and assume that this may be also the constituency of our, of our conscious. As like maybe, you know, uh, Lyotard, a French philosopher, when he wrote about uh, the knowledge in postmodernity, post just saying he was 40 years ago already uh -huh. uh, predicting that all is set through the number kind of algorithm setup. So is, the, is that maybe the case, we just reverse it? Yeah, I mean, I think there's uh, ways to look at it where you can model consciousness or the brain or the universe very well computationally. But then there's the philosopher like Luciano Floridi who points out you, do, you, you don't have to make the commitment to the belief that the universe is made of numbers. So I think there's, mm -hmm. and I think that's a you can, you may, and I, I guess the question for me, I guess it's maybe an empirical question of can we successfully recreate like subject, a point of view in a machine using computers and logic, which would be kind of a proof that maybe it, totally, it, yeah. it is computational after all. So uh, In a place like Toa, I think many, many subjects are more down to earth than the philosophy. <laughs> However, I think the two of us would agree that without that, it wouldn't work anyway. But if you, I mean, you get the chance to talk to the former uh, head of AI at, at Facebook and stuff, how is your really direct and concrete angle towards AI in the context of Toa? In the, well, I think, you know, I think the brain has returned to AI as a kind of guiding I think for a long time, once when neural networks were first developed in the 80s and 90s, people thought, oh, it's neat, but you can't do much useful with it. And now that we've got such you know, bigger computers and much more powerful, now these, these same models are super useful. So I think um, you know, going back and exploring a lot of the different ways the brain functions should be, you know, I, I, I welcome that, uh, that we, trend. <laughs> and we too will be on a panel later on yeah. AI, sex, and robots. Would you have like a catchy phrase in the end of our interview on, on that one? On, um, about sex and robots. I mean, I guess the thing is, um, you know, could, could a really good AI sex bot be better than a human? So what do you suggest? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good one. Thank you for joining us at Toa 16. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye. Yeah.